Welcome back everyone. This video comes to you from Trey Citizen out of South Carolina. And in this video, you're gonna see him get arrested for recording in public. And I'm gonna show you another clip from another one of his videos. And I wanna point out how calm this guy is. And he's got one of the coolest demeanors that I've ever heard in the auditing community. This guy is fantastic, man. You guys go subscribe, I won't hold you long. Watch this video, watch these clips. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in my comment section. And I'll also see you guys in his comment section as well. Check this out. What's your name and badge number? I'm Corporal Shrad of the Greer Police Department. How are you? All right, I'm all right. Okay. Is there any reason why you're videotaping? I'm just curious. You're not in any kind of trouble. There's nothing here other than we got called and told that you were walking around the parking lot. So, any particular reason for it? No, you're not going to answer. So we're just going to have a stare off because I'm recording you and you're recording me. Is that what we're going to do? Have your ID on you. It's probably done anything wrong. Well, you're recording a suspicious activity, which puts this into a category of suspicious activity. This means that Terry versus Ohio, I can detain you until I can determine or deny that there's Terry, no Terry v. Ohio says suspicious activity is not enough for reasonable reasonable cause for ID. I would, there, there's already a call on it. So, yes, so suspicious work. activity, is that, is that a felony or a misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And I can't believe you just sat here and lied. Yep. Go ahead and give me your ID. Uh, can you call your supervisor to the scene? I am a supervisor. I need another one. Okay. I need a lieutenant or somebody else. Okay. Actually, actually, I, I, I'll go and do this type of thing. Okay. Yeah, so. I'm just curious. I mean, I mean hey. Criminal activity, there's nothing to worry about. So why are you asking for my ID then? Because you're not answering me. And when you're not answering me, how do I know you're going to come to this parking lot to come shoot it up? It's called a Fifth Amendment, right? So I can check on that if it's suspicious. And if part of that checking is to identify you. So if I can get it, It's suspicious. A felony or a misdemeanor? Hi, sir. Again. Name, badge number? Sergeant Forrester, 301. If you guys ever wonder why sometimes police officers and sergeants are just straight up turds, check out the lieutenant. He's a freaking tyrant. And this is why. All right, how you doing? Good. How can I help you? Well, he contacted me. I want my ID for no reason, so I need a supervisor to let him know that, you know, without any crime being committed, I don't have to present my ID. Well, he actually got a call on you. Well, that a, what what crime have I committed? Well, so anytime somebody calls in and reports suspicious activity, it's suspicious. He, it's suspicious of failure or misdemeanor. Uh, it's neither one, but he asked. Oh, neither, okay, thank you. So he said it was a misdemeanor. So now we have a conflict on which one it is. We don't have a conflict at all. We have a conflict K with hold on, the way you Whoa, sir. whoa, whoa. Taping, taping whoa. on the parking lot in the day's whoa. day and age. That's fine. Whoa. That's fine. You ain't got to whoa nothing. Whoa. Today, whoa. What's your name and badge number? Uh, my badge number is 201. It's whoa. Lieutenant Holcomb. Whoa. H-O-L-C-O-M-B-E. Now. Whoa. Whoa. You, now you let me see, have an ID. This, this is an intimidation factor yeah, right here. Let me have an ID, please. What crime have, an I, ID. An what ID. Crime have I committed? An ID. What crime have an I committed? ID. You're gonna you're gonna be failure to uh, listen to a law enforcement officer ask you for an ID. What crime have you got I committed? An ID? What have crime? You got an ID? What crime have I committed? Have you got an ID? What crime have I committed? Videotaping our parking lot and walking around the police. Is that a crime? Lot. Yes, sir. Right now in the, it way, is. the day and age that we're dealing with, yes, sir, it is a crime. What crime there? have I committed today? Anytime there's a suspicious person. Is that a felony around, or a misdemeanor? It's a. Let me see whoa, your ID. Whoa. You, got the, you got the count three whoa. or you're going to jail. Now you gotta see, I got one, one hand on the camera. One, whoa. two, Don't shoot three. me. You're under arrest. Whoa. You're now under arrest. Sir, you got your ID on me? Sir, you got your ID on me? Oh. Uh, I let it inside my pick and not stick with anybody inside the employee pay the police. Guess what? That's not that's a right. Actually, uh, that's a, that's a right to stay in jail. That's a right to stay in jail because if we don't have an ID and name and everything, then you stay in jail until we figure out who you are. So you can tell us who you are or you can stay in jail. Whoa, if you don't tell us who you are, you're going to stay in jail. Recently in Alabama, the guys that were all recorded over there, they were told they all had to give up their social security numbers in order to be released. Is this something that is being done throughout the nation or just in some states? Do you really have to give up your social security number if you're locked up? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think and what state you're in and if this is true in your state. Keep watching, folks. Huh? You're interfering with the police. 
What crime? Did I commit? Interfering with I the police. Interfering. Yes, you were. You guys came to approach me. Yes, sir. And I asked yes, you for an ID. And what crime has I committed? Interfering with the police. What crime? Interfering with the police. What crime? For you suspended for Listen interfering? to me. Listen to me, because I know you're not deaf. I don't got listening. Interfering with no, the I police. Was not. Yes, you were. No, I was not. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. And you know I wasn't. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not worried, worried about it. I just agree with all That's fine. Well, guess what? You don't see the inside of the South Carolina jail. Oh, right here. There you go. Like I heard you say something. Can you help me with anything? Uh, I didn't know I asked for help. I know, I was just asking. Because you were walking with cars drive, I just didn't want you to get run over. Oh, I was watching out for my safety. Yeah. Just stay on the sidewalk. Well, this is all public area, so I can, I can stay here too. Is, okay. This is where cars drive. This is for your Okay, safety. well, I'll make sure when the car comes, I don't be in the car's way. All right, thank you. He's saying that's, a, that's that guy. So I guess the sound in is knows who that guy is and that's the the camera back alert I guess how you doing yeah, how are you I'm all right you got a name and badge number what's your name are you a public servant what's your name I don't know who you are so when I actually should provide it correct mm -hmm. it's part of your general orders correct no part of your policy correct no okay so his name is Keith. Must be. I'm doing good. How are you, Judge? Fountain in Keith. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I have no idea, Judge. You got you. any suggestions? here. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I understand. I was telling somebody else I was thinking the leaves. Yeah. Some people are having a hard time. Let's listen, listen to this conversation for a little bit. All right, man. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, buddy. You and the judge buddies, huh? That's pretty cool. You must be like the chief or something, right? Something like that. Okay, nice, nice. How long have you been working here? Long time. Long time. Can okay, I ask you a question? Sure. I happened to be uh, reading some news the other day, and uh, I don't know why I didn't bring my notepad with me, but there was an officer who was accused of sexually assaulting a minor towards Frankie's Fun Park who actually works here at the Fountain Inn Police Department. He worked here, yeah. He worked here? Yeah. Doesn't work here anymore? Okay. 14 months. That was in the article. Okay. So he doesn't work here anymore? That's right. Now, is he fired or he's like on administrative leave? No, he doesn't work here anymore. His employment here is terminated. Terminated. Has been since May of tw May 28th of 2015. Okay, nice. Okay. Cool beans. You guys don't have like anybody to cut the grass and stuff like that? Keep the yard up. Hours. We've had a lot of rain that sent them over. This way, you, I guess you wash the cars and things like that, right here. Before we bring prisoners in and out and stuff like that. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's why there's no pedestrian traffic up here. That's why there's sidewalks. Maybe pedestrians just don't walk this way because they don't want to. Sense. Maybe the some just go to the visitor's entrance at the front. That's they don't. What they do. That's why the sidewalks are all around this building so they can traverse safely in and out of the building. Yeah. Which is a public building. That's, there you go. He said it, not me, you fellas. Public building. Yeah. Public building. May I get your name? Keith Morton. Keith Morton. And you are who here? Police chief. Police chief. 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. Come back anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Just be safe. Yes, sir, I will. This guy has the perfect demeanor for First Amendment audits. He wasn't rude for no reason. He was firm and he was stern. I truly hope that we can see a lot more out of Trey Citizen because this guy is spectacular. With that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you over in this comment section. Have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because we got a lot of good videos coming your way. Peace.